Hey guys, I'm doing this video because I got a request from a friend and the topic is going to be some 3BLD example solves uh, with 3Style and uh, also how I solve parity. Um, I know it's been a long time since I made my last video and since then I've gotten a new camera, the PowerShot SX60, so I hope you like the cam and the new angle. Uh, I also apologize for my voice, I've been a bit sick of late, so without further ado, let's just get right into it. I'm going to be putting all the scrambles in the description below. Okay, so here we have the first scramble. My buffer for edges is DF and my buffer for corners is ULB or UBL. Um, as this is going to be some examples using 3Style, if you don't understand how commutators work, you might want to um, fi figure those out and then come back here. So for those of you who do, I'm assuming that you have a decent understanding, so I'm just going to breeze by a little bit because I want to focus on how I solve parity here. So here for corners, I'm just going to be using my white top green front orientation. I recommend you follow along in your orientation by doing the scramble. And I might use my lettering scheme once in a while, so just follow along if you're getting confused. So here I have my buffer going there, which is Q, and there, which is D then here and here which is HL and then here there and finally there which is TJP so there are no cycle breaks and as you can see there's an odd number of targets seven targets so what I do is instead of just doing um, um, the last target using M2 and then using an algorithm to swap these two edges I simply memorize these two edges as swapped so to illustrate that I have my first target which is actually going here but because I have parity I interchange these two in my memo and I actually memorize this as going here so I'll have instead of D I'll memorize this as going here to A that way when I'm done with edges I'll have an even number of targets which eliminates the, the eliminates the need for an M2 alg uh, an M2 parity alg and also swaps these two edges so to illustrate that I have DF to UB to F uh, U so this is just a normal M2 valve with a cancellation like that so you can visualize this as solved because these two are supposed to be swapped the white orange and the white blue next I have J to G so this will do a Z prime rotation bring this G to F and then it's a simple 8 mover this is the insertion you have your interchange move and undo and then undo your setup move like that Next I have O to F, so if I do a simple R move, it sets it up to PF, which is solvable by a U perm. So I'm just going to do a U perm, and I can do a cancellation right at the end. Oh sorry, yeah, cancellation goes the other way, so that solves these two. Now I have my buffer solved, so I'm going to break into a new cycle. I'm breaking into D, so this is D going to R. So this is a simple advanced M2 case, just set it up to UB and final move cancels. Now you have W, yellow blue sticker, going to the blue red spot. So for this I'm going to set up the blue red to the B position and this is making this makes a cycle WB which is a simple five move commutator. Five move out. That's it. Undo. So that solves those two. Now we have M. And usually it goes here, but as I said, we're memorizing these two as swapped. So it's M going to here, which is a simple 8 mover. U2 interchange. M D prime M prime insertion. And undo. So that solves my edges. And as you can see, these two are swapped. So when I do the last target using old Pachman, they'll swap back and the edges will be solved. So now moving on to corners, I have the buffer going to Q, going to D. So this I'm going to be using 11 move case. So I just do this and then I can just catch it like that for the insertion. And then undo like that. The I just didn't exactly show that cancellation really well but just uh, try it out for yourself if you didn't catch that on the first go next I have H to L which is a simple 8 move case just a uh, 3 move insertion like that to get that there and then a D prime interchange 
undo, solves those two. Next I have T going to J, so I do an X rotation, and there's a nice R2 interchange, so I'm going to use that R2, and then I'll put the buffer sticker here by doing that, and then do R2 again, undo, and finally I solve the last target using old Pacman. So that solves a cube, as you can see these two edges were swapped, so that's illustrating my parity method right there. So moving on to the second scramble. Alright, so here's the second scramble. Once again, my corner memorization uh, goes there, which is O, M, P, I, B, U, and S. Once again, no cycle breaks, but we have an odd number of targets, so we're going to memorize these two as swapped. So as that's the case, we see the white orange is actually already in its spot, or its swapped spot, so we can count this as a solved edge, which is pretty good. So initially for edges, we have M, and then going back to our buffer, so I'm just going to break into a new cycle. So I'm going to choose the spot, I. So we have our first cycle is MI. I'm just going to uh, do a simple insertion like that, M prime interchange and undo so that solves this and we broke into a new cycle now we have n going to l for this i would just use a simple advanced m2 case which is just putting this on top like so and then just solve it using m2 so that solves this and this now we have j going to h and it's the previous case but it's mirrored so again i just use advanced m2 this time with a B prime setup move. So that solves those two. Next we have B going to I and then we again have to break into a new cycle after this. So first of all putting this in there is done with a simple just bringing it down putting it up like that. That's your insertion. Interchange is again a simple M prime and undo. So that solves that. For breaking into a new cycle I'm going to choose this sticker D and that goes here, G. So this is very easy. Just do a Y prime rotation. Uh, your insertion is pretty straightforward. It's just U prime R to U. And again, this can go here with a simple M prime. And undo that, it solves those two. And then we have W at the bottom, which goes to W is here. And remember that we have to memorize these two edges as swapped, so instead of going to Q, it's actually going to go to E. So we have DB to this, and that's a simple 8 mover, just insert like so. D to interchange, undo. So as you can see, these two edges are swapped, and the rest are done. Now moving on to corners, we have here O M, so this is a very easy commutator. Just do a Z prime rotation, and as you can see, I'll just hold the cube like this. So you can see, what I do is I put the buffer there with that insertion. So from this angle, from the Z prime angle, it's R D prime R prime, and these two are interchangeable with the U two. So undo that. Next we have. Um, P going to I, another easy pure commutator. I'm just going to insert this into there by moving it there, moving this up, and moving it back. So it's a U or U prime insertion, and you can easily interchange this with an L move. So that solves. Next, B going to U, another easy pure commutator. I'm just going to do a D move so that these two can swap like this so that was a D R2 D prime insertion and these and this piece along with the buffer is interchangeable with a simple L2 so undo that done and finally this target I'm just going to solve with the old Pachman which is fairly simple and that was the second scramble alright so on to the third scramble uh, as we can see, the corner buffer is already solved, so I'm going to have to break into a new cycle immediately. I choose the R of D sticker, which is P for me in my lettering scheme. So that goes to T, which goes back to P. 
and I'm going to need a cycle brake so I'm going to choose this sticker the D slot and then that goes here which goes there and there so we can see seven targets and another cycle brake so but we see that this sticker uh, sorry this corner and this corner are twisted so what that means is two cycle brakes, two twisted corners and seven targets overall um, a fairly bad scramble so we have parity again and now edges this yellow red going to orange yellow so that's solvable like this I do a Y prime rotation so I do an M2 as a setup so now the cycle becomes buffer to this spot to there which you can easily solve by just doing a U prime RTU insertion M move is your interchange and now you can cancel a move by cancelling off the last M prime um, now we have orange white which should go there but because we have parity it's going there where blue white normally goes and this is going here so we have BU to FL I'm just going to do an X prime set this up to BD so the cycle is now buffered to BD to FL I will do an M in interchange move first and the insertion is pretty straightforward if I just move this here and catch it with an L2 and I'll just undo and the last move as you can see cancels instead of doing a U and then U2 I just do a U prime and next we have here to P going to S so I use a 9 mover for this so what I do is I just do an M prime as my setup so now you can see the cycle effectively is from here to there to there which is a simple comb like that solves that and that now we have B to R which is a simple advanced M2 case just set it up to UB and just cancel the last one of the U2 now we have T going to there remember because these two are swapped again now for this what I do is I just set this up to H like so and there's a nice interchange along the E slice so I'm just going to do a Z rotation insertion M move for the interchange M prime undoing it and then undo the setup move so edges are solved as you can see these two are swapped so moving on to corners I had broken into this cycle so PT is very easy just a D interchange and putting the buffer in here just requires an R prime U R like that undo so that solves now we have P going to D so another re easy pure commutator so what we have is just bring this down catch P right there there and then a U prime interchange between these two so again that solves that now we have C going to U this you're, you're going to need to use a setup move so I use a D setup move to make it CV and then I just do a U2 because these two are interchangeable and the insertion will be R prime F prime R2 FR like so so that solves these two now finally we have F and that's gonna be our old Pockman case and it will swap out these two but what I'm gonna do is because these corners are twisted I will shoot this to this white sticker so that Nick will see this white sticker come on top so the cycle is oh sorry the cycles from my buffer to F to N so I'll do an F2 setup move so it's now PN these two are interchangeable with an R2 so I'll do an R2 and putting the buffer in here is simple U prime L prime U R2 undo undo the setup move so that solves this as you can see we have B now and here I'm going to look for the yellow sticker which is in the S position so I'll do a Y prime Y rotation and the cycle which I'm going to be breaking into is now from here which is B I'm going to be using this so it's buffer to UBR to uh, BDL so I'll just do a Y rotation and 
as you can see you can put this in the buffer with a simple RDR prime and then use a U prime interchange which is fairly obvious solves that and finally we have our old top and target there Just solve it and that solves the cube so that should conclude this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something if you have any questions please leave those in the comments below and if you have any suggestions for any further walkthroughs or tutorials you can leave those in the comment section as well uh, like and subscribe of course that will be encouraging for me to make more such videos and see you guys next time bye